Hello there, my name is Ismaus and uh, welcome to this material giveaway. Uh, so this is uh, the materials I use for the uh, city uh, uh, project, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, I'm giving them away for free and uh, you can download them uh, from my Patreon page. I'll be leaving a link in the description. You don't have to be a patron to download this. Uh, you can just follow the link and should be able to download them. So let me just go through them uh, just a little bit uh, uh, so that you can see how to use them. Uh, so this this first uh, material here is uh, the one I use for the banner here. So you can go in and uh, for the different banners here. I've already done a tutorial on how I set that up. So you can just go into this project, look at uh, the material and uh, see how I made it. Uh, so yeah, it will also include this image. And uh, if you want, you can just replace this image and add whatever you want. Uh, it is uh, this texture here that I'm using here. It's called banner. And uh, yeah, fed directly into the blender project uh then we have the view link uh themselves uh, again i've already uh, done a tutorial on how to uh, make the material to apply the material onto the buildings uh, but uh, basically uh, how you can control them you can see that uh, the buildings is not the building or the windows are not bright enough uh, or the light is not that coming that is coming from the windows is not bright enough so uh, to to make it brighter you can just increase i uh, just select the material and then increase i don't need this second material here so you can just increase uh, this hue uh, uh, this hue and saturation value uh, if we if I put it to say something like 100 you can see how I'm increasing the light and I'm only increasing the light in the windows I'm not uh, any dark areas are staying dark uh, so if I put it to 1000 you can see Yeah, so you can play around with that and see how that go looks. Then you have this second material. Now you can use this as a plastic uh, object with uh, some rough uh, surfaces. So I use that uh, an image that I got on Google. It's not very tileable. It's not tileable, so that's why you see this same here. But uh, if you find an image uh, that is a scratch uh, image uh, that is tileable. Let me just show you how this looks. You can see this is what I'm using here. I'm using this grind map and uh, this other image here. Okay, this here. Uh, this, I think the, the scratch is uh, tileable. It's this grind map that is non tileable. If you can find a tileable map, uh, it will give you better effects uh, for this. But I think you can use this as a plastic material uh, on, your, on any object. And uh, just to show you how you can do this, Let's add a Suzanne head here. Uh, so you can just select uh, whatever object you have and then select uh, the sphere as the last object and then Ctrl L to link uh, the materials and uh, that material should be applied uh, to the object you choose. You can see, so you just add a smooth, you can see, yeah, that's how you apply the material. Or you can even just import, say you have a different uh, project. Let me just open it. You can copy and paste uh, from this project and paste it to uh, your project and uh, see and do exactly how I did it here. So this is also another rubber material that you can use. Uh, and then we have this uh, HUD uh, heads up display uh, material and see it is transparent, see through and uh, everything. So again, I used the texture uh, from Google, but uh, if you want to switch this out, uh, you can just uh, select this the sphere and let me maybe show you how to do that let me find another image uh, basically it's the same steps it's, it's very simple you just find the image you want to to use say something like that like this here just save it up can even just drag it into the project And basically what you have to do is either just connect these, uh, uh, just make the same connections and replace other uh, connections you see here, or just uh, replace uh, the image directly here. So I think this is called heads up interface. So you can just find it. After you drag it in here, it should be loaded. It should also be accessible here. So you can see now you're getting a different look. And uh, if you make uh, 
if you make uh, an image sequence animated in, uh, in After Effects or something, you can replace this and I will have an animated uh, HUD uh, material. Uh, let me just show you how uh, the setup is here. Let me just go back to my default. Actually, I think this looks better. So let me just uh, play around with the UVs, scale them up. And see. And so you can even layer this into different material. Into diff if you duplicate this, you can layer this on two different layers. Maybe even animate uh, the inside spheres to get something that looks even more cooler. But uh, let me show you how I set up the material. Again, I, I think I've already explained this in the, in the previous story, so I won't be doing that. But, uh, basically, uh, if you want to change the color, you just look uh, use this uh, mix uh, color GB, RGB, and you can change the color to whatever you want. Uh, if you want to make it more brighter, you just increase uh, the hue value here. And I should get a brighter emission. And uh, then you have these metal scratches. Uh, that's easy to use. And I have these plastic uh, with uh, some scratches. So you can increase how my scratch. Let me see. Are they, they're not very visible, but they're there. You can just uh, play around with these nodes, change the color a bit uh, to get more of the scratches or less. And uh, also you can play with the add value here to make the scratches more pronounced or less pronounced. Now I have this digital count. It's not animated, but uh, it's what I used for this gas pump. Yeah, so if you want to use that, you can also use that material. And uh, this material here uh, is, uh, what I, is what I used here. So you can find stickers and uh, replace them uh, to get whatever you want. And uh, this fog here, I have included it uh, because I, I get a little request on how to make this shader, but I've already made it uh, so many times. So if you want to see how I did, it's a very basic sh shader, so you can just get it and uh, insert it in your scene. Now, if you have lights, you will start producing, uh, you start seeing that uh, fog. Let's see. Yeah, it's uh, what I go, what I use for uh, that fog you're seeing in the city, and uh, those were the materials I used for this project, uh, for the city project here. So if you want to examine them and uh, just have a look at them, uh, you can do that. Yeah, so I'll also be doing another material giveaway from other projects. Abby. Uh, like uh, this uh, short movie, horror movie that I made, and uh, what else here? Uh, this here, I'll also be doing that. Um, some of the materials I'll be adding, I'll be giving them away on my second channel, Blender Money, so yeah, you can go to that and uh, have a look at that, maybe. Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.